The Buffalo Bills shocked the NFL world earlier this week when they traded Stephon Diggs to the Houston Texans. They got back a second rounder, but they also gave up a fifth and a sixth rounder in the process. And I'm just going to see, does Madden value this trade? And they decline it. Oh my God. It puts them over the salary cap. Okay, I lower Stephon Diggs cap hit, so this should work now. And there we go. Okay. So the Buffalo Bills traded Stephon Diggs to the Houston Texans earlier this week. And my God, that is insane. If you're a Houston Texans fan, bro, if you're sketch, if you're just a Texas fan, like you got to be so happy because not only did the Texans have a pretty solid wide receiver duo in Tank Dell and Nico Collins, but now they get Stephon Diggs on top of that. That is absurd. But this isn't about the Houston Texans, unfortunately. This is about Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. And my God, wait, did they, is Josh Allen... They made him a superstar? Bro, I'm on the I'm on the real time um rosters. Did they actually make him a superstar? Wait, this this can't be right. There's no way that there's no way this is right. I don't I don't know if this is right or not. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna touch it, but I there's no way he dev he, he got a regression and a dev trait. But either way, this is the team that is surrounded by Josh Allen. Just oh my god, dude, this is not good. They lost Gabe Davis in free agency. They obviously traded stuff on Diggs. He has no weapons aside from Dawson Knox and Dalton Kincaid. Defense still the same as it always has been, except they don't have Tredavious White anymore. I'm gonna have to release him um, because he is not on the Buffalo Bills. And wow, this team is mid. We got the Mar starting, man. We got the Mar Hamlin starting. Does he have a face scan in this game? He does not. Okay, they did. EA did not. Uh, EA didn't give him a face scan. But my God, we are so down bad that we have the Mar Hamlin starting as our free safety right now. We have no wide receivers. We, we have nothing. So honestly, do I do the unthinkable? Do I entertain the idea of trading away Josh Allen? What would this look like? What would be the offers I can get Anthony Richardson? Okay, I, I did that for the freaking, I did that for the, the Cowboys rebuild that y'all are going to see uh, spoiler alert soon. Um, obviously, I'm not going to trade him for Stephon Diggs. That would be stupid. And there's only three teams interested. Okay, there's three teams interested in Josh Allen. I, I, can't, I really want to do the Anthony Richardson one, but I I just did that with the Cowboys, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna have to keep Josh Allen. That's how uh, deep in the trenches we are with this rebuild. Nobody wants Josh Allen. I mean, I, we just gotta get to the draft, and we have the 28th pick in the first round, which is not ideal whatsoever. It's pretty much a second round pick, but let's see. Who's available in this draft? We need a wide receiver, hands down. So are there any? There are no wide receivers. Okay, that's. Oh my God, where is the near, the nearest wide receiver? Is Jonathan Estrada? Do I? Re I'm not gonna reach here. I, I really don't want to. I don't want to reach here. But he is a scheme fit. And after that, the wide receivers are pitiful. I might reach here. I might reach here and take Jonathan. I'm taking Jonathan Estrada, and I'm just going to hope that he is a guy because we have no other weapons. We're just going to, we would just have Josh Allen just die out there. So we need to at least get him a weapon. And honestly, I might just take best player available. Like we do have Demar Hamlin starting at our free safety spot, and he's actually a top fit. Nathan Dawson, um, round two, three projection, decent physicals. I'm just going to hope that he is a. He's a He's a normal dev. Okay. I mean, he can't be much worse than DeMar, if we're going to be honest. Our next pick is in the fourth round. So we skipped the third round. I don't know what happened, but we don't have a third rounder. And do we go cornerback here? We do need a replacement um, with Tredavious White, Marco Goodrich, and his physicals are actually pretty solid too. I don't want to take the top person on the board every time, but I mean, yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't. Okay, where is Estrada? He's a 74 overall, so he's he would be our wide receiver like two or three, but I'm going to make him wide receiver one. He has a bright future. He's from Boston College. Shakir might not be that bad at all. He's in, he's in year two, but Estrada's got to be the guy. Despite Dawson being a normal dev, he is um, a 74 overall, so he is going to start over Damar Hamlin. But entering year one of this rebuild, I guess you could say it, is, uh, is underway. We got Estrada, 74 overall. Shakir is a 76. I mean, James Cook hopefully can be our running back of the future. And defense is uh is where it is, I guess. No game changers at all in the defense. And Kai Earlim's actually a 76 overall star. I'm going to make him CB2. He was a first round pick like a year or two ago, but the Bills just don't play him enough. So I'm going to try to develop him some. And wow, we are one in five at the midseason mark. That is insane. Oh my God. Okay. Josh Allen is having a mid-year Oh God. Oh God. Okay. James Cook's kind of doing okay. Estrada's doing his thing. He's kind of balling, but oh my God, guys, this is not good. We were one in five. You know what? This might be fine for us because we can get a high draft pick. We can just use this as a, a retooling year. I'm fine with this actually. We finished five and 12. Um, Still didn't finish last in the division. That was the Patriots, of course. Let's see, where do we finish amongst the rest of our peers in the league? We are the third worst. Okay, so we're gonna have top three pick. That is amazing. 
I'm fine with that. Uh, Josh Allen, mid-year. I mean, what can you expect? He's throwing the plumbers. It, it, it is what it is. James Cook did okay. Estrada, okay, my boy. 1,029 yards, six touchdowns. That is fine with me. He's only a star dev. That is what it is, but I'm fine with that. And the Chiefs win another Super Bowl. Um, Dak Prescott wins MVP, CD Lamb, Offensive Player of the Year. Wow, the Cowboys, even Mike McCarthy, Coach of the Year, the Cowboys went crazy in the NFL Honors Awards, but they uh, couldn't get the Super Bowl. But okay, I want to know if there's a stud quarterback here. Okay, no, no, there, there's no stud quarterbacks, but there is a lot of wide receivers. So I think I'm going to keep Josh Allen. I was going to think about trading him if um, if there was some stud quarterbacks, but there is not. Um, we do need to re-sign Gregory, Gregory Rousseau, Deron Johnson as well. Okay, um, we, we definitely need to re-sign you, buddy. Definitely going to re-sign Greg. Welcome back, Gregory. Oh, Rasul Douglas. Do we need Do we need to re-sign you? We're going to accept uh, Elam's fifth-year option. Deontay Dawkins is, uh, he's, he's 31 years old, but um, okay. Yep, he's going to test free agency. Fine with me. Rasul Douglas, one-year deal? Okay, nobody wants to be a Buffalo Bill in 2025. Nobody wants to be, Tehran, do you want to be a Buffalo Bill? Do you perhaps want to be a Buffalo Bill? Yes, you do. Okay, one-year deal. Sick. Lamar Hamlin, Jordan Poyer. I'm going to let them walk. Mitch Moore. He's 33. I mean, I might let him walk too. Spencer Brown, 27, normal dev. I think I'm going to resign you. Yep. Okay. Got a right tackle. And yeah, dude, I mean, I, I just, I'm going to let Deion, Deion Dawkins walk, Rasul Douglas walk. Actually, no, I'm franchise tagging. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm just going to let them walk. I mean, Deontay Hardy, if you want to come back on a little two-year deal, it's fine with me and bet. We have a decent amount of cap room to make something work here. I do. I would love to sign JOK. I would love to sign Jeremiah. Um, after that, I'm, I'm really good on everybody else. Um, I, I Yeah, I really don't care about everybody and anybody else. 25-year-old right outside. Oh, my God. We were going to give him a bag. Oh, my God. We were giving him a hefty bag. I would love to see him join us because, dude, a 25-year-old superstar, right outside linebacker. We're his top offer, so that's that's a very that's good to see. Nick Chubb, do we want to re do we do we want to sign Nick Chubb? Screw it, why not? Let's let's just try to get Nick Chubb too. Why not? I doubt he's gonna sign. I just hope one of them signs with us. And okay, JOK signs. That's that's fine with me. That is fine. I'm I'm cool with Nick Chubb not signing with us. We didn't really need him. That was just more of a want. Do we sign D Hop for the memes? Do we sign D Hop for the memes? I think we do. I'm hoping that he wants to come here. He wants a franchise quarterback. So, he, yep, there we go. Diop is on the squad now. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do in free agency. All right, so we have the third overall pick in the draft and i'm hoping that one of the top receivers is on the board i mean it's a third overall pick we should have yes we do top by projection okay we have a decision to make here we have a 6-2 wide receiver or a 6-6 wide receiver both physical archetypes Deep rat runnings C, release A, catch traffic A, catching B. Okay, his physicals are decent. Decent physicals. He's actually not bad. We're going to see what the other guy is. Brandon Winters. Let me see, buddy. Oh my God, wait. I might go Brandon Winters. I might go Brandon Winters here. That, that was a lot of A's that I just saw right there. And he's 6'6". Six, six. Brandon, please be please be hidden deaf. Please be hidden deaf, thank God. Oh my God, 96. He's 6'6". Six, six. This man is a freak. 94 speed, 96 excel, and he's 6'6". Six, six. 99 jumping. We just gave Josh Allen a jump ball receiver. Dude, okay, we might be cooking here, fellas. And we also get the Texans' second-round pick this year because they were both 2025 picks. So we're going to have two second-round picks. And okay, dude, this is like top of the second round. Okay, there's a lot of quarterbacks here. A lot of quarterbacks here. Do I? Oh, my God. Wait, do I? Do I want to draft a quarterback? No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I don't want. No, no. Do I? Hold on. What is Josh Allen going to give me? What is Josh Allen going to give me, man? Let me see. Michael Pittman, Josh Jacobs. Oh my God. Derek Stingley. Okay. I don't know why the Texans want Josh Allen. I guess, I guess, uh, CJ Stroud just did not work out. I think I'm going to accept this. I think I might have to accept this right here. Derek Stingley with in two first round picks, a third round pick and a seventh and a sixth for Josh Allen. I'm going to accept that. Josh Allen, goodbye, sir. I'm sorry. Goodbye. We didn't, we no longer have a quarterback. We need one. And let's see, Dan Bundy. Um, he's a top bit. I don't think, I don't like what I see compared to the other guy. I really don't. Awareness B, under pressure, throwing a run. Okay, short throw accuracy. Let me look one more time at the other guy here. Okay, he's throwing the runs a C under pressure a honestly i kind of like dan bundy i, I kind of like my boy ted bundy here please he's a fit please ted bundy please be hidden dev okay 92 throw power 90 excel 87 
Agility. Okay, so he's kind of like a little scrambler. Yeah, archetype scrambler. We kind of replace. We're gonna get a mini Josh Allen from Boise State. And we also have another second round pick this year from the Texans. I mean, dude, we, the <laughs> I don't know why the Texans just want to be the Bills 2.0. They wanted Stephon Diggs. They got Josh Allen. That none of that worked, but I guess they wanted to run it back and, and try. And okay, I don't. I don't need another wide receiver. I could go a left tackle here. He's a scheme fit left tackle. There's three. Oh my, there's four left tackles here. He's a scheme fit though. So let me see. Um, awareness and pack block oh he's six seven my god okay a a yep okay this guy's definitely not nope d pass block that's not happening b pass block and let's see what does Roderick have he has a to c pass block we're going Roderick. i think he's the scheme fit Roderick is the scheme fit and let's do it Roderick, let's lock in buddy let's lock in Roderick. Roderick, you're gonna be our new left tackle for my boy Bundy. And we have, dude, we're going crazy in the draft because we just have so many assets. We have a, a third round pick. We have two third round picks. The Texans literally just gave us their future. They said, screw it. We're going to give you our future. And okay, I want to go this cornerback here, but these wide receivers are falling. I don't need wide receivers, but I mean, oh, okay, let me see. What What is Travis looking like here? Um, Okay, his... I don't really, I don't really see why I'd want Travis here. Ray Darius Young, um, A run block, A short route, B catching, A carrying, A awareness, A to C deep route running. Do I go another wide receiver? I don't know. I don't, I don't need another wide receiver. I don't, I don't. I might go left tackle here and move him, move him the right tackle or something like that. I think I'm just gonna do that. And yeah, he's normal though. And Radarius Young is still here. There's so many good wide receivers. Like I'm just gonna, have to, I'm just gonna have to go Radarius. Radarius, I'm just gonna have to go you. You're a hidden dev. 91 speed. Okay, you're decent. I mean, I, I really just kind of had to. I, I, I just had to. Now, I'm gonna let the CPU pick the rest of the draft because we're gonna be here all day if I'm gonna just sit here and draft. Okay, Winters is an 81 over. Overall, Ted Bundy, 73 overall. Redman, 73. Oh my God, Rodarius Young to 78. Okay, so we uh we got, a, we got a 75 overall cornerback, dude. Okay, so it's obvious. If it's not obvious enough, I did set the draft classes to strong. Um, very strong. I feel like it's more fun that way. It's way more fun to have a lot of good players. Like every, it's not, it's not just the Bills either. Everybody in the league has all these really stacked rookies so i think it's fun that way okay so this is a squad heading into the first year of the actual rebuild the rebuild without josh allen and oh my god we have a lot of blue very young i don't even know we should we really didn't even need to sign d hop but we did oh uh, we now have Derek stingley in case you forgot we got him from the josh allen trade i moved kair elam to free safety we got like a seventh round rookie who is a 77 overall cornerback, a, a, a hidden dev. I'm going to start him opposite of Derek Stingley, and we are just going to rock out. And we are one and six to start out. Uh, okay, we are one and six. We got some trade offers. Honestly, I might entertain these trade offers. What's uh, what's it looking like? Kenyon Green. Oh my God, we actually might take Kenyon Green. I'm going to accept this. Christian Benford. I mean, the Houston Texans. Like, we're just like, the Houston Texans and Buffalo Bills should just like conjoin and just like, like we should just be one team at this point. I'm also going to trade Shakir at, at this point because he doesn't play at all. Um, I might take like, I wouldn't mind Alante Taylor. I'll take a cornerback. 75 overall star def cornerback. But let's check the stats. What are we looking like? Okay. Danny Bundy. Not, um, not, not looking that good. James Cook. Decent. Um, Brandon Winters. 392. Three touchdowns. Estrada. 252. Rodarius Shung's not doing much at all. That's, uh, you know, like to see that. But Brandon Winters, we need you the ball out sir because you're a superstar x factor oh my god okay i don't know why his ability is wrecking ball i'm just gonna change that because that like just doesn't make sense really but oh my god brandon winters is a superstar x factor my god i was expecting maybe maybe superstar we get superstar x factor okay i'm gonna have to move him in the slot what is uh radarius young what is his he is okay he hasn't even gotten that many snaps to even find out i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the scheme real quick i'm gonna change it to uh i'm gonna be really sweaty i'm gonna go spread and i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go cowboys i'm gonna go cowboys here it's sweaty but i'm telling you it works and i we really don't need d hop i'm gonna phase d hop out of the uh ro rotation here i'm gonna move Darius young up okay uh yeah i'm gonna trade d hop i'm gonna trade d hop i'm gonna see what i can get from him because i mean i would just honestly try to get anything at this point right end 73 overall might not be the might might be the move yeah i think that might be the move we're going keon white we're going keon white here so we now no longer have d hop we have we have two rookies and a one-year starter in jonathan estrada the og we finished five and 12 yet again actually not terrible 
considering uh, that's like the same record we had when we had Josh Allen. Bundy turned it around. Ted Bundy turned it around, went crazy. Um, James, oh my God, James Cook. Okay, sir. Still at 83 overall. He's not really progressing at all, but I, I'm, I'm liking that. Okay, Brandon Winters, 1,049. Everyone else just kind of blended in. I guess it was because D-Hop kind of uh, phased everybody else, but, but Brandon Winters, 84 overall superstar X-Factor in his first year. My God, that is beautiful. You'd love to see that. We actually could have been cooking if we didn't trade Josh Allen, but I'm not even going to worry about that. I don't care about that because we have my boy Ted Bundy here. And unfortunately, LaMichael Leonard is going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year with the Bears. Um, I guess Caleb Williams didn't pan out with them. Um, they got a new quarterback. Tyreek Hill, Super Bowl MVP. The Cowboys lose another Super Bowl. Like, can they ever win a Super Bowl? I, I don't think they can. Okay, I'm going to imagine that uh, Stingley's going to have to get paid eventually. But uh, Dalton Kincaid going to accept your fifth year option. James Cook, I'm going to pay you because I made this exact same mistake getting rid of Damian Pierce in the uh, Texans rebuild. He ended up winning Offensive Player of the Year, so I'm not going to give up on, uh, on on running backs, on paying running backs. I'm going to give you what you deserve. Rob Bernard, I don't need you. Uh, Teron Johnson, I would actually love to have you back on the squad. A little one-year deal, and you want to play for a new team. Okay, that's great. Um, See ya, see ya, buddy. Connor McGovern, we kind of need, uh, need a left guard here, and thank you. I mean, other than that, that's really it. Okay, what free agents do they have? in this cycle and a lot of them do not even want to entertain the idea of playing with us um we could use like a strong safety but i don't think there's really uh, any in this market there's donovan wilson not really not really what i'm looking for here 94 overall brock purdy hit a uh, free agency that's actually kind of funny i might i might think about uh trying to get geno smith on the squad i might think about that okay we're, we're essentially his top off where everybody's tied ryan kelly wants to come to the squad honestly i would love that i would love if ryan kelly wanted to come play with us i would i would actually love that and we get ryan kelly okay we do not get geno stone um he is going to uh go to the 49ers we also need a middle linebacker cole holcomb you you don't want to come here but i can uh, interest you oh my god wait i forgot to start jeremiah wusu kormoa last year oh my god i just realized that i I'm going to remember to do that, but in the meantime, I'm going to overpay for Cole Holcomb and uh, pray that he comes here. And if not, honestly, no big deal and no big deal. Fine with me. Okay, we have the seventh overall pick in this year's draft. Now, let's see. What is this? Uh, what's this draft class looking like? Wide receiver, Holcomb. Okay, quarterback, quarterback, right outside linebacker. Ah, uh, this quarterback. Ah, oh, this wide receiver was a top five projection and he's slipping. I don't want to take another wide receiver, but if I really have to, dude. Oh my God. I mean, these are all reaches. If I have to take another wide receiver i might have to go i might have to go will holcomb dude i don't want to go another wide receiver i feel like i've drafted twenty thousand of them but i mean they're one of them's bound to be good next to uh winters i mean last time i drafted a really high wide receiver he was superstar x factor so i mean maybe this is the move and we also have two second round picks because i forgot uh forgot who this is from i think this is still from the josh allen trade and just like skip okay it just skips my pick oh my god all right well that's that's that well whoever we picked with the the second first round pick we'll find out but here's a right tackle on the board okay Braden sims i don't mind this uh i wouldn't mind a right tackle not bad pass blocks good run blocks good okay what about uh oh my god i'm not gonna say that last name that video this video is probably gonna get demonetized if i say that last name but timmy timmy you know what for the memes honestly you don't look bad but uh, yeah we're going to, we're going timmy wait no we're actually going timmy timmy welcome to the squad timmy welcome to the squad buddy Welcome to the squad. What are you? A 6'4 agile right tackle. Okay, Timmy. Okay, we have a third round pick. Let's let's th this will be the last pick of this draft. Um honestly, yeah, defensive tackle. I'm, I'm just gonna make it easy. Defensive tackle. We need a defensive tackle. It's a scheme fit, hidden dev. Beautiful. Okay, so Will Holcomb obviously was our first um pick. 78 overall. We got Will Dalton. The CPU draft at a right end. 75 overall okay I don't, I don't mind that at all um jameson kelly 78 overall running back okay that's a nice compliment to james cook i'm not mad about that at all okay the biggest problem with this team i can't lie is the insane amounts of wide receivers that we have we just have way too many star wide receivers i'm gonna have to make a trade eventually um maybe after this year because we just have way too many we have way too many for my liking um i i, I don't really it's hard I, I can't develop all of them is my 
my point. Uh, defensively, Derek Singley still is not a superstar X factor. I feel like at this point, in the Texans rebuild he was. So it's a little concerning, but hopefully he can uh, have a good year this year. We got JOK starting this time. I didn't forget. Um, I'm probably forgetting to start somebody. Maybe not. I think, uh, I think I'm all Gucci. Hey, okay, well, we're two and four this year. Um, not uh, really what I want to see. Bundy is having a pretty decent year. Middle of the pack, we got James Cook. Bundy's rushing for some yards. Okay, that's not good. 10, 10 rushes for 15 yards. Miserable. Will, Co oh my God, Will Holcomb is taking... Okay, yeah, we have way too... Because Brandon Winters isn't even doing anything. Let's see, what is Will Holcomb? What is he? He still has not unlocked his depth trade upgrade. Okay. Rodarius Young, what are you? Are you your star? I think I'm going to have to trade you, bro. I'm going to have to trade you. I I'm going to wait after this year, but Winters should not be taking a backseat like this. That should just not happen. He's 87 overall, but he's going to drop if he just keeps that being mid. And I think Derek Singley should be ready to negotiate here. Yes, he is. Okay. Okay, we got some uh, some some fellas. We got a sign here. Try to lock up Derek Singley while I still Ken, what does he want? Okay, I'm gonna lock up Derek Stingley. I'm gonna lock him up. I was looking for a better fit, but I'll reconsider with more offers like this. Okay, sure, buddy. Sure, whatever that means. Gregory Russo, we need you. We're gonna we need to lock you up, buddy. Give you a player friendly deal. And there we go. We don't, we don't have to play hard to get with Gregory, but uh, Derek Stingley, hopefully you come back. Right now, we're going to sim to the end of the season. I don't think we're going to make the playoffs, but uh, we'll see. And we finished 4-13, and 13, so we actually got worse than last year. Okay. Let me see my boy, Danny Bundy. Not not terrible. Not terrible by any means. Could be better. 9-71 and 11. Kelly really didn't do a single thing. Let's see. Rodarius Young went crazy. Okay. That's good to see for his trade value. Brandon Winters, nine touchdowns. Holcomb. Let's see. What is Holcomb's depth trade upgrade? What is he like? He's a superstar X Factor. Okay, okay. We have two superstar X Factors. Rodarius Young, unless you are a superstar X Factor, we are getting rid of you. Yeah, we're trading you, buddy. You, you're going because we're going to have two superstar X Factors and Brandon Winters and Holcomb. That is beautiful. Um, Did Derek Stingley do anything, perhaps? Um, Two interceptions. Okay. Can live with that, I guess. I want to see, though, what is uh, what are the Texans cooking over there? Do they have um both of Stroud? Oh, my God. Do I trade for Stroud? Do I trade for Stroud here? Do I trade for Stroud here? How, how, how crazy can we get here? Stroud isn't even starting. It's literally Josh Allen is starting. I, I might do it. I don't know if they're trying to pull a, a little Jordan Love with CJ Stroud. Brother, I am trading for CJ Stroud. I don't care if we're having like a little inside job with the Texans this entire video. I am getting CJ Stroud because he is not playing. Especially because Bundy's not even doing anything, man. I mean, the Cowboys, just kidding. They, they can't win a Super Bowl, but they can win the NFL honors. Dak wins MVP again. CD, Offensive Player of the Year. Micah, Defensive Player of the Year. Okay, did Derek Stingley end up accepting that offer? He did not. Please, Derek. Please, Derek. Please, Derek. I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you a blank check. If we're being honest, I'll give you a blank check if that's what you really want. Yeah, I mean, I gave you a blank check. You're happy now, Derek Stingley. Welcome back to the squad. But I gotta keep my money because, bro, I'm, 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 about to, I'm about to do it. I'm gonna trade. I'm gonna trade for CJ Stroud. I'm doing it. I mean, I might as well offer Kier, Kier Elam. He's kind of balling, man. He, 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 he made the move to free safety, and I kind of respect it. Dawson Knox, I'm gonna let you walk because it's, it's Kincaid's, Kincaid's time. All right, where is he at? I don't know if they want a quarterback or not. We're going to give him Bundy. We're taking CJ Stroud. Oh my God. Wait, they don't even have CJ Stroud. Good God. This just put a wrench in my plans, man. Where did CJ end up going? Where where did he end up going? Oh, he might be a free agent. Wait, he. I think he's... Yeah, he might be a free agent. Okay, wait. We might be cooking here. We might be cooking here if he's a free agent. Do not tell me CJ Stroud's a free agent. Oh my God, he is. Okay, I'm giving him the bank. I am giving this man literally all of my cap room. I don't even care. I, I don't even care. CJ Stroud, welcome to Buffalo, sir. We are the Buffalo Texans. We are the Buffalo Texans. CJ Stroud, I have no cap room and I don't care. CJ Stroud, welcome to Buffalo, sir. There we go. He has zero motivations to sign here, but we gave him bread. We literally gave him, good God, we gave him a lot of money. And while we're here, let's also look to trade some of our guys here. Okay, Will Holcomb's a star. Bro, was he not Was he not a superstar X Factor? I thought he was, but okay. Anyway, what can we get for Rodarius Young? We can get a right. Oh, okay. I like this. Antonio Brown. There's a new AB in the league, but I, I'm going to stay far away from him. Um, Oh, free safety. Star dev. Are there any? Let's get this Chicago Bears right guard. Star right guard. What about Dan Bundy? 
What what can we get for Oh my god, we can get a we can get a superstar tight end. Okay, wait. I might do the I might do the superstar tight end. I might go with a superstar tight end here. I I, I mean, between the Texans and the Bears, dude, we were just making like a little love triangle here. Okay, so we got to have one of the top picks in the draft and we do. We have pick 4. Okay. What can we do with this pick 4, man? We we have hit on all of our high draft picks so far and we have pick 5. Wait, did I just see that? We have we have pick 4 and 5. Oh my god. We have back to back. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We have four and five. Oh, my God. I don't even remember where we got the fifth one from. I don't know, but I'm not complaining. We can go a lot of different ways here. There's still so many good wide receivers. I'm not going to go another wide receiver. We solved that problem. An LSU left that side linebacker, a speed rusher, A pursuit, B tackling. I don't think this is really our scheme fit. Let's see. He is 6'3". I can move him to, to the left end if I have to here. Honestly, Danny Wright, welcome to Buffalo, sir. Welcome to Buffalo. We're going to move you to We're going to move you to the end. We're going to move you to the left end. And I just skipped my fifth round. Oh my God, I just skipped it again. Why does it do that? Okay, there is a strong safety that's kind of sliding on the draft board here. Uh, I think we're, we're in round two and this guy's at round one to two projection. Uh, we need a strong safety. He's a scheme fit. I'm going to take him. Hidden dev, bang, 89 speed. I love to see that. And for our round three pick, honestly, I'm, where do, I don't even know. What, what do I need here? I can go Gregory Allen since I am moving our, uh, the right outside linebacker we did just draft to right end. So we can draft Gregory Allen and we can actually start him at right outside linebacker. We do have JOK though. We can just move around, uh, see what works best. Okay, here are our rookies. Danny Wright is a 76. Um, the, okay. They, they picked another wide receiver. I did not want that, but he's an 80 overall. I guess that's fine. I, I really didn't want that, but I, it is what it is. All right, fellas. This is the year where we really go crazy. Like, we got our quarterback finally. We got a superstar X-Factor wide receiver. This is the year where things go according to plan, man. Right already. Oh, my God. They're already receiving upgrades. Gregory Brown, one of our rookies. Going to be a 77 overall hidden dev. Same for our top five pick, Danny Wright. Thank you. He's pick four. Yeah, he's pick four. 79 overall. This is the squad, bro. I'm excited. I'm going to move Cardi up to uh, wide receiver two. And, dude, we're going to cook. We're cooking. We're cooking. Let's just sit midseason. I am pumped. And we're three and three. Um, Not too shabby. The Texans are pitiful one and six uh you hate to see that We've got a trade offer for estrada honestly yeah i'm i'm all for this strata it was a good run buddy you were an og might as well just get rid of you go blossom somewhere else okay strata's having a pretty good year 10 touchdowns two picks 1400 yards let's see james cook's doing his thing winters five tutties cardi three and holcomb right behind him but yeah brandon winters is balling let's see is marquez cardi he's a superstar okay 83 overall holcomb was a superstar x factor but he like he went from a superstar x factor to a, to a star so i am confused on how drastic of a change that was and how that happened um Wright has three sacks okay um at oliver three sacks Stingley two picks allen not really doing much let's see what is uh what is right where is he at danny Wright, what are you looking like sir you are a superstar x factor oh my god okay beautiful beautiful at him opposite of greg rousseau now we're chilling dude we just gotta come on boys we just gotta make the playoffs man we don't have that much cap so i'm just gonna try to uh okay um i'm getting uh i'm getting ego checked by the kicker um what about ryan kelly come on you know you want to stay here buddy ryan kelly buffalo bills legend just like that we're gonna let uh kincaid walk at oliver i would love to keep you we're not gonna have that much cap room though that's gonna be the problem yeah and honestly after that i'm chilling maybe Connor mcgovern yep okay we kind of might maybe overpaid a little bit for him but it is what it is let's just send him the end of the season and hopefully we are we're in the playoffs i would love to be in the playoffs we finished eight and nine our best year uh in a while um not above of 500 though so that's unfortunate stroud had an amazing year with 31 touchdowns three picks 4100 yards that's why we signed him man james cook did his thing uh winters had his best year by far Holcomb back up there. Cardi doing his thing. Let's see. Is Holcomb back up to a superstar X Factor or at least a... Su okay, he's still a star. Okay, I, I'm confused. I, maybe he was a glitch and he wasn't ever a superstar X Factor. Um, Brandon Winters up to a 92 overall already. My God. He is generational. He is literally generational. Okay. Danny Wright finished with... Okay, I, I thought tack I saw tackles for loss and I thought that was the sacks. I thought he had 18 sacks. He had eight and a half sacks. 
Um, Gregory Rousseau had nine and a half. He's up to an 84 overall in his first year. Love to see it. LSU, baby. Go Tigers. Okay, if we can maybe have gotten a rookie of the year in any category, and we do not, unfortunately. Um, don't get any player of the years either. Uh, 49ers win their Super Bowl. Um, they don't have Brock Purdy anymore. They have Deion Hyde, who took him to the promised land. Okay, we got to accept the fifth-year option of Brandon Winters. My God, he is going to have to get paid soon. Um, I'm going to have to let Ed Oliver walk on second thought. Save my money. I think I'm going to have to do that. Dylan Rams is a free agent. Chris Jones is a free agent. There's just... I'm not really messing with any of these free agents. I can't lie. I think I'm at the pass. Our first pick is pick 15. Right smack in the middle of the first round. I'm kind of like... Ooh. We do need an Ed Oliver replacement. And he is a fit. Dom Sasser. I don't have to look too much into this. Yep. Oh, a awareness. A finesse move. Good. Good grades, honestly. We needed a replacement for Ed Oliver anyway. Another pick this time in the second round. I'm going to reach here. I do need a cornerback. I'm just going to go Marcus Greenwood. He's going to be normal dev. I, I needed a cornerback. He's 92 speed. He can find a way on the field. Um. Okay, so Sasser's a 77. Um. Marcus Greenwood, 76. And I just let the CPU draft the rest. We did get a 77 overall cornerback in uh, round five. So that's that's pretty massive. And heading into 2028, we have some high expectations here. Um, not only from the Buffalo Bills fans, but also from me, from the GM. I mean, CJ Stroud, 92 overall superstar X factor. He is finally arriving. He didn't get a shot in Houston, but in Buffalo, he is the man. He's superstar X factor. We still got James Cook. We got uh, Jameson Kelly, 81 overall. We got Brandon Winters. He's a 91 overall superstar X factor in year three. But crazy enough, he might not even be the best wide receiver on the team because after year one, Marquez Cardi is an 87 overall superstar. He's an up to an 87 overall after his first year. So that's amazing. He's going to be in the slot. And I don't know if, um, I don't know what this does, but I did it for Anthony Richardson on the um, Cowboys rebuild. I'm going to set Stroud as team captain. I don't know what that's going to do. Um, what that does, but I'm just doing it anyway. It worked last time, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Defensively, Stingley's up to a 95, but he is not up to a superstar X factor, unfortunately. But uh, Gregory Russo is regressing. Um, Wright was a superstar X factor, now he's a superstar. That's also unfortunate. Jeremiah Wusukor Moa. He is now a star dev. Also unfortunate. Let's waste zero time, man. Let's just get into it. Let's just get into the midseason point. Hopefully this is the year. If this isn't the year, then I don't know what will be the year. We're three and four. I want to be better, but oh, Holcomb's getting skill points. So is Jeff Killings. Love to see it. I mean, I don't want to change the uh, I don't I don't want to change the playbook because it was working um, last last season. Stroud finished with 30 touchdowns, three picks. Now he's at 11 and three at midseason point. James Cook kind of mid. Um, Brandon Winters zero touchdowns. Cardi is doing his thing. We need to get some. We need to get in the end zone, Brandon. We just we got to do it. Stroud did go off last week, so hopefully that's uh, we got some momentum we can build on. Um, we're gonna see. Oh my God, there's gonna be so many people I have to pay this year. Wait, there's actually gonna be an absurd amount. I might let Zach Terry walk. I'm I might have to let Jeff walk. Oh my God, dude. Nobody wants to resign here either. We're just gonna have to wait to the end of the season and see what happens. And we finished eight and nine. Oh my God, dude. This division isn't good either. We could totally make the playoffs, but we're just, we're not. We're just not a good football team right now. Stroud had a pretty good year again. 32 touchdowns, six ints. Like, I mean, I don't know. James Cook's doing his thing. I don't know if we need, like, Brandon Winters, 1,300 yards. Another career year for him. Cardi doing his thing. Holcomb, not really. Yeah, I, I what is, what is Cardi up to? He's up to an 89. He's cooking. What is Brandon Winters up to? I want to know. He's up to a 93. He's cooking. I just don't understand why we're not really making any any noise here. Defensively, Gregory Russo had 13 sacks. How many did Wright have? Wright had two sacks. Okay, that might be a problem. Um, That's not good. Danny, we're gonna have to fix that. But Greg, keep doing your thing, Gregory. I'm gonna have to make a big trade this offseason, and I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna have to mortgage some of my future, and I'm gonna have to make a massive trade. What a nasty Super Bowl. My God, that is that is a disrespectful Super Bowl. 14 nothing. But our overall's up. I mean, we're up to 88 overall on offense, 87 defense, 87 overall. I might have to go all in here. I'm gonna, This is the year I go all in. I'm gonna have to re-sign Zach Terry, but he's gonna test free agency. I might have to... Um, franchise tag somebody here um i'm gonna accept will holcomb's option jeff killings we need a oh we need my left tackle don't i i do need my left tackle roderick 
Roderick. Okay, I'm about to franchise tag you. Guys, this is this is this is the year where we we actually do something. And you're all gonna leave me? You're all gonna leave me. Okay, you know what? That's fine. James Cook, it's your time to go, buddy. You, you, you served us well. I really need Jeff Killings, though. I, I do need him. I do need you, buddy. Why do you want to play for a new team? Why? Okay, fine. You know what? We're going to remember this. I'll franchise tag Terry. He'll stay in the squad, but Killings can go. And that's it. Yeah, I don't really care about any of these... Uh superstar center could be pretty solid 25 years old i wouldn't i wouldn't mind this i wouldn't mind giving him a little something something but uh we'll see where, where he goes he's not gonna come here um it was the Bengals. okay you know what? that's fine i'm gonna make a trade i'm gonna make a trade to put us over the top because that's what we need we need a massive trade what do i need though i would i kind of need i kind of want a running back i'm not gonna lie unfortunately they're over the cap jamar chase no let's go look for an elite running back here where uh does anybody have any superstar x factor running backs per se Bijan. okay Wh what would they want for Bijan? he's a 99 overall he's a 99 overall and honestly i might give them the bank if that's what they want Oh my God. Yeah, we're getting bees on. No, we're actually getting bees on. Okay. I'll give them, okay, two sevens, maybe two sevens. See what they do with that. Can approve the offer a little bit more ready to accept. Okay. They don't want two sevens. Maybe they want a six. Maybe they want a six. You can take the six if you want it. Oh my God, dude. Falcons. Okay, we'll go four and five. We'll give them literally every draft pick we own. And Bijan Robinson is coming home, baby. I mean, he's not, he was never, Buffalo was never his home, but he, this is now going to be his home. Bijan, welcome to Buffalo, my friend. Welcome to a team where you're going to win a Super Bowl with. A team that you're going to see a lot of success with, my my, my good friend. I'm just going to send this draft and whatever we draft is whatever the CPU gives us. Um, We have four draftees. One is a 75 overall center. Okay, you know what? You know what? what the cpu realized we need offensive line help and they kind of cooked the year is 2029 we have cj stroud at a 94 overall we got Bijan 99 overall brandon winters 93 cardi 89 terry 85 gonna move our uh, hidden dev center up to starting position defensively Derek stingley's regressing ouch that hurts Oh, that hurts the soul, man. 96 overall star. That is nasty. That is gross. But Gregory up to a superstar. Everything else, man. We're just, th this is the year. We got to go all in. The Buffalo Bills curse will no longer be a thing after the season. Ah, uh, three and four. Okay. Um, This division isn't that good. I mean, I guess the Jets are kind of comp now. I have a feeling that Bijan's stats aren't that good because of our scheme. I honestly feel like that's the case. 12 and one CJ. No, Bijan's doing his thing. Bijan is balling. Um, Cardi, Winters taking a regression. I guess it's because of Bijan, because we're running the ball so much with Bijan. But uh, yeah, Stingley only has one interception. Wright has two sacks. R Russo, two and a half. Danny Wright, you, I don't know, buddy. You got to figure it out. Who's ready to negotiate? I feel like half the team is ready to... We're going to we're gonna have to sign half the team, aren't we? We do have a lot of cap, though. We do have a lot of cap. So Brandon Winters, my good sir, my glorious king, do you want to get paid buddy because you deserve it okay this offer is getting real i'm a well yeah you're on the team buddy i don't know why you don't want to come back gregory Rousseau, we need you because we are nothing without you we are literally nothing without you at least defensively yeah we need you uh kair elam one year deal i am off for that thank you sir timmy um you never really uh you never really developed after uh yeah, I, I don't care about you, Timmy. I don't care about any of you, really. We do have a left tackle, a uh, superstar left tackle. Okay, wait a minute. I did not see this one coming. He wants the minimum wage. He wants he wants to get paid about as little as you possibly can. Okay. My brother, he was a left tackle. He is a superstar. Buddy, you're going to have to start. You're going to have to figure it out. You got potential, pal. You're going to have to figure it out. Hopefully, we can go on a little run here. Um, by hopefully, I mean, please. Please, guys. Please figure it out. Finally, we made the playoffs at 10 and 7. Oh, my God. I was getting worried. And we, we pull out the comeback of the season. Let's see. Oh, I see Bijan just went crazy. I see Bijan just went absolutely nuclear. Same for CJ. 4,000 yards, 34 touchdowns. Bijan had 1,700 rushing yards and 22 touchdowns. This is why you. This is why we traded the farm for this man. It's a 99 overall, 27-year-old Bijan Robinson. He went crazy. This is why you trade for him. This is why we made that trade. Brandon Winters. 1,200 yards, seven touchdowns. Cardi, Cardi with 13 touchdowns. Okay, my boy, what are you up to? A 94. You might be a higher overall than Winters. You might be a higher overall. You're 95. Okay, he's going to be 96 now. Okay, wait, we're kind of hooping now. 
Okay, fellas, fellas, we're doing the thing. What is Holcomb? He kind of, he might be a, yeah, he might, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry about that, pal. Defensively, do we have anything to look forward to? Um, Wright had 10 sacks. Rousseau had 17 sacks. <laughs> what just happened? What happened? Why, why did they just turn up all of a sudden? What? Gregory Rousseau had 17 sacks. This is why we paid him. This is why we paid this man. He's up to a 95 overall. Oh my God. Okay. All right, we're, we're okay. St is Stingley doing anything? Stingley, two picks. I mean, I guess, like, whatever. As, as long as you're locking down people, you don't need interceptions, pal. But what was that? Five years in, we finally make the playoffs. We're hosting, or we're not hosting. The Steelers are hosting us at 10 and 7. Steelers really just have Minka. Um, they have George Pickens, but honestly, TJ Watt's like 50 years old. Yeah, he's regressing. They really don't have anything. Who's their quarterback? Andrew Sheehan? Um, okay. Okay, fellas. This is the first playoff game in like half a decade for Bills Mafia. So please don't disappoint us. 21-6, 28-6. And I think this is going to be a runaway. It is 35-6. Four. Oh my God. 42 to 16, baby. There we go. CJ, where's Bijan, man? Where's, where, where are the fellas? CJ, three touchdowns, zero picks, 309 yards. That might've been a, his first playoff game in his career because he didn't really play with the Texans. Um, Bijan, oh, had an okay game. Um, Winters, a touchdown. Cardi, touchdown. Holcomb, touchdown. Dude, Look, oh my God, everybody's just going crazy. Love to see it. And now we get to host a playoff game. This time we get to host the 9-8 and eight Baltimore Ravens. Lamar's still a 99. Yep, Lamar 99. Kyle Hamilton is a 94. Roquan 94. Do they low-key kind of have the same team? They have the same like top four people. And then they, obviously they have all the uh, other, other characters. Buffalo gets to host a playoff game for the first time in forever. And do not disappoint, guys. Don't disappoint. 7-3. The Ravens are actually pretty good. Despite having like a terrible record, they're actually pretty solid. And we are also solid. 21-13. Please, that should be game. Okay. Okay. I got kind of scared there. I'm not going to lie. Um, we pull out with a dub though. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain. Stroud with another hat trick of a performance. Three touchdowns in this game outperforming Lamar. Lamar had another playoff stinker. Um, Bijan 72 and a touchdown. He is doing his thing. Brandon Winters, a touchdown, 96 yards. Just, you know, solid all around performances from the guys. Oh, we're now taking on the 13 and four Indianapolis Colts to go to the Super Bowl. Let's see. What are they working with? Uh, they have John Taylor they have Brian Cunningham who is their quarterback is it uh it's AR 15 okay AR 15 got Desmond Ritter they got Justin Fields my god they have like a little three quarterback system here if you guys remember I could have traded Anthony Richardson for Josh Allen like uh or I could have traded Josh Allen for Anthony Richardson at the beginning of the tree build I declined to do that and now it all comes full circle with the Indianapolis Colts to reach the Super Bowl. The squad is absolutely immaculate right now. I mean, CJ's up to a 99 overall, along with Bijan. Winters up to a 97. Cardi up to a 94. The fellas are cooking. The fellas are absolutely cooking. We're looking good. I mean, we're a higher overall than the Indianapolis Colts. So, I mean, we're an 88, they're an 84. Let us see. Okay, we're on the road, obviously. Colts score seven right away. Come on, offense. Come on. We can't stall out. 10 nothing, please. CJ, give me a good drive. 7 10. There we go. 10 10. Oh my God, we're responding. 17 10. 17 17. There we go. 24 17. 24 20. Buffalo, we're headed to the Super Bowl, baby. 24 to 20. This was not pretty by any means. Anthony Richardson struggled with two picks. CJ struggled with only one touchdown, 180 yards. But my God, this was a B. John Robinson game. This is why we traded for him. Although we had a fumble, he had 100 rushing yards and two touchdowns. And we didn't really have much receiving yards to go around because CJ barely had any passing yards. But JOK had an interception. And who else? Who had the second interception? Josh Terry. Oh my God, fellas. That leads us to a date with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the Super Bowl. We're both 88 overalls, except we have a higher overall offense. They have a higher overall defense. Buccaneers still have Tristan Wirfs. He's a 99 overall. Okay, Antoine Winfield, they kept him. Kevin Sharpton, uh, 93 overall wide receiver. I assume Mike Evans retired at this point. Um, yeah, Baker's not their quarterback. They have Mitch Petty. Yeah, they don't have Mike Evans either. Okay. This is interesting. This is the squad heading into the Super Bowl, man. I don't need, we, we don't have a single Buffalo Bill on here besides Connor McGovern. And I think that literally might be it uh, for, for the de for the defense, at least. Um, Kyer Elam might be the Lone Ranger besides Gregory Rousseau, who's back up to a superstar X Factor. Didn't even realize that. Um, yeah, those two, those three, they might be the only Buffalo Bills to, uh, 
to stay on the squad. And of course, the only real life players that we have are uh, CJ, Bijan, McGovern, Stingley, Kyer, uh, Rousseau. That's really it, dude. Uh, JOK, too. I forgot about JOK. Rousseau's peaking. He's chilling. JOK back up to a superstar. I'm surprised Cardi signed up to a superstar X Factor, but it is what it is. I'm not complaining. We, we already have enough of those on offense. Oh my God, wait, that was James Cook. Wait, the oh my god, the I didn't even realize that. The Buccaneers have James Cook. I don't want to get dropped off by James Cook, man. Look at him right there. He's right there, number four. Please don't drop us off, James Cook. We, we, that's like the ex-girlfriend, and we have Bijan. Bijan's gonna have to ball out, otherwise I'm gonna like look like an idiot. Okay, fellas, this is the Super Bowl. This is what we have been working towards this entire video to get Buffalo a Super Bowl, and we're already up 10-0. There we go, CJ. Come on. Oh my god, defense is balling. Defense is actually balling. 17-0. Offense is balling as well. Get another touchdown. That's, that's the dagger. They can't stop us. They can't stop us. Super Bowl champions. 27-15. of 15. Oh my god. Dalton, man. You deserve it. One of our draft picks. Dalton. Bijan. We traded the farm for him. And it worked out. CJ signed you in free agency. Gave you a massive deal. Thought we had our rookie quarterback. We drafted him. Turns out it wasn't the answer. Signed CJ Stroud in free agency. The rest was history. Buffalo, we finally got us a Super Bowl. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that, man. CJ, 282, two touchdowns. Bijan, 113 in the touchdown. Cardi, 51. Holcomb, 93. Winters, 98 in a touchdown. I mean, the boys just, everybody balled out. 15 to 27, the Buffalo Bills get their Super Bowl dub. CJ, of course, was the uh, Super Bowl MVP. No shocker there. Honestly, it could have gone to Bijan. And I wouldn't have been mad at all. But this is how the squad is looking after that Super Bowl dub, man. Love to see it. Started out with Josh Allen and a bunch of bums. Turned us, uh, this team into, hopefully, a dynasty. Well, up the rebuild is complete. If you enjoyed this rebuild of the Buffalo Bills without Stephon Diggs, you can check out his new team. I rebuilt the Houston Texans. So if you want to see that, just click right here. It was, it was a blast.